Hello, Joseph here. I just recently made this little video where I explain how I use ChatGPT on my telephone as a to-do list. And I really love the feature where you're able to talk with the app on the phone. I really miss this feature in the PC version or uh, on the web browser in the, in, on the PC. But I found this little pro plugin here called Voice Control for ChatGPT which you can install on in your web browser under the extensions. And it works a little bit like this. So once you've installed it, you get these controls and you can just speak by pressing spacebar, for example, like this. I would like to create a little text that explains about a extension for the web browser, which I have found called voice for chat GPT. Can you write a fun little message about this plugin and uh, how it makes chatting or talking with an AI easier because you don't have to write everything. Instead, you can just use your voice to explain what you're trying to achieve. And then a release base. Certainly. And now here's a fun and engaging message about the voice for ChatGPT extension. Fingers cramping from all that keyboard action. If you press S, you say can, goodbye uh, to the old ways and hello to talking. the future with. And then you can you can say like. I would need this text in Swedish. Can you translate it for me? Certainly. And there's different uh, uh, shortcuts you can use. For example, you can use space just to talk. You can use escape to cancel. And uh, E you can use to just copy the text. And S you can use to just skip. So I kind of feel like uh, this makes life much more easier also on the PC. Thank you very much, ChatGPT, for explaining this little extension for me. Um, this really helps me when I want to write a mail or just talk uh, without thinking about what I'm trying to write. Instead, I can just talk and uh, you help me generate the text. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Shady Patty. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to hear that the voice for ChatGPT extension is making your life easier. Feel free to call on me anytime you need assistance, whether it's through typing or talking. Happy chatting, and if you ever need help with anything else. The thing is this, even though you say Shady Patty, you know that I'm talking or we are talking about the extension here because it's it's in your learning data to predict the next sentence and even though some of the things i'm saying in this conversation are you you are transcribing them or translating them incorrectly in some way it doesn't even matter because you know about the context and what we're talking about and that's very interesting so Thank you a lot for helping me think and reason about different stuff even faster. And then I would like to. It seems like there might have been a bit of confusion with the name Shady Patty, but I understand the context of our conversation and appreciate your kind words. The ability to understand and predict context is an essential part of natural language processing, and I'm glad to see that it's helping you think and reason about. So show me what is this uh, conversation about? Tell me in a small, simple sentence. Certainly. This conversation is about a hypothetical web browser extension called Voice for ChatGPT. The extension allows users to interact with ChatGPT using their voice instead of typing. 
you've expressed interest in how this could make communication more efficient, and we've discussed the concept in both English and Swedish. There was also some reflection on the context awareness of the conversation and how it aids in understanding, even if there are minor mistakes or misunderstandings. That is correct, but it's not a hypothetical web browser because I'm using it right now. Is this not the version 4 of ChatGPT which lets you search and browse the internet? So can you please check if what I'm saying is true? Hi. Apologize for the confusion earlier, but as of my knowledge cutoff date in September 2021, I'm unable to browse the internet or verify real-time information. I'm also unaware of any specific browser extension called Voice for ChatGPT or a version of ChatGPT that allows internet browsing. It's entirely possible that such an ex That's not true. I'm using ChatGPT4 and you are able to browse the internet. I would like you to... Tell me how the women football world tournament ended. I apologize for any confusion, but as of my last update in September 2021, I'm unable to browse the internet or access real-time information. Therefore, I'm unable to provide the latest results for the women's football world tournament or any other events that have occurred after that date. You may want to consult a reliable sports news website or use a search. Hello, I would like to you to use browser op to search the internet for current information about the World Series Soccer Women Football. What team won? Spain won the Women's World Cup, defeating England in the final. The decisive goal was scored by Captain Olga Carmona in the 29th minute at Stadium Australia on Sunday, August 20th. This victory marked Spain's first Women's World Cup title. 